Okay, there's still a few people joining, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for joining our third DocuSign training session. Um, we're so happy that everyone's so interested in DocuSign and we're so pleased to have integrated DocuSign with Velocity. So my name is Carly. I'm going to be leading the training today. Um, I do ask that as you join the call, if you can just mute yourself, there are quite a few people expected in today's session. So it would be great if you could mute yourself when you come in. If you do have any questions, please pop them in the chat. I have my colleague Ryan here today who's going to be helping out answering questions. And we will also have a Q&A at the end of the session. So uh, definitely save your questions for then and we will get to them later. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen and let's get into DocuSign. So we should all be able to see my Velocity page here. Um, I just want to start off by letting you know how to actually purchase DocuSign credits in the system. So if you go to me and head to your settings page in Velocity, under the purchase products section, you'll see the list of all of our add-on services, including our eSign Premium, which is DocuSign. If you click add, that will take you to your membership information page. I have to log in again. And then at this point, I can either sign up for Velocity Enhanced. So this is our um, enhanced package. It's $79 a month. It's our new enhanced and it comes with uh, all of our add-ons. So easy account access, Twilio SMS, property validation, as well as eSign. And that eSign that comes with our uh, enhanced bundle is DocuSign. So it's a really great deal. You get 400 DocuSign credits for the year at $79 a month, or you can also purchase e -sign, uh, DocuSign separately just from this add-on section. It is our premium provider, so it will be under eSign Premium. So that's how you get DocuSign in your account. Once you've done that, I'm just gonna jump into the condition section of my deal and we'll see exactly what that looks like. So I've added a couple documents in here already. I'm just going to use my Know Your Client form as an example here. So as always, to send an eSign package through Velocity, we're going to click this little eSign icon here beside the package that I want to send, which in this case is my Know Your Client form. And I'm going to check the box beside it to make sure I have selected that document. From there, I'm going to go ahead and click Actions, Send Selected eSign Documents. Once I've done that, I can select the agent on the deal, agent whose credits I want to use, which I'm using my own, so that's easy. And then the next section down here is a provider. So here you have a choice between DocuSign and OneSpan, OneSpan being our other eSign provider. So you can actually choose which one you want to use. I, for instance, only have DocuSign credits in my account, so I can select DocuSign. If you did have both, you could kind of choose which credits you want to use for the package that you're sending at this point. So again, I'm sticking with DocuSign and I'm going to go ahead and click Submit. The next step is just adding any signers. So I have two signers on my deal today, two borrowers on my deal today. So they're both added as a signer. I can add a custom message to my signers that will come up in the email that is sent out. Simple. I can also add any additional signers into the document at this point. So just with the first name, last name, and email. I don't actually need anyone else to sign. It's just my two borrowers. So I'm just going to go ahead and click submit. And the next page that loads is going to be our DocuSign editor. So it's going to pull my document in. And for anyone who's actually used DocuSign before, it's going to look very similar. You'll probably know exactly what to do. So as soon as this loads, we'll take a look. Perfect, okay. So again, looks like DocuSign. So I can drag and drop my signature, initial date signed fields. If I scroll down, I have that pre-populated already. So I can just drag my initial box. 
Um, my client name field, these are going to be autofill fields. So if I drag and drop client name, the system is going to actually autofill that for my client. They won't have to type it. Again, that signature box, the date signed box, which also is going to autofill for the date that the, the signing happens. Um, and we have text boxes here as well. So these are any boxes that uh, anything your client might need to enter. So in this case, I have an other section here, so I can just add this text box just in case my client needs to type anything in here. I can also play with the required fields on the right, making these fields required or optional. So in this case, I don't need this field to be required because my client might not have anything to write. So I can just make that optional by clicking the box here. And it's the same with any of your signature fields. If you don't need a signature in one section, you can flip that to optional as well. To switch between signers, I can actually use this drop down in the top left and I can actually head over to my second signer who's Marcel. And then from here, I can just drag and drop his information as well, initials, date signed, name again. Another really cool feature that DocuSign has is the radio buttons. So for things like this, like this financial overview, I'm gonna go back to Lacey. So instead of having to add a checkbox and add a bunch of conditional logic to make sure that my client can only select either yes or no, I can use radio buttons. So I can drag and drop. It'll automatically show with two options here. So I can just drag that second option into place. If I did have additional uh, additional options, I could click this plus button to create another. I'll just delete that for now. But basically what the radio buttons do is that they make sure that my client can only select either yes or no. So in one radio group, which is these two buttons here, only one option can be selected. So it makes it really easy for documents like this and any other documents where there's basically two options. So I'll add a few more of these buttons in just so you can see. So there you go, super easy. You, you also do have checkboxes you can drag, um, a couple of other options in the document here, but this is kind of your main section. One more thing I want to touch on while we're in this section here is that you can add comments into the document as well. So now that I've clicked that comment box in the top, I have this little blue um, kind of highlighter here. If I click beside this section, I can actually add important information that my client might need to know about this section into the document. So for here, for example, I might say something like, please select either yes or no for each option. And when I post this, this will just show up beside this section in the document if anything needs some explanation and my client will be able to see the text I've written. And they'll actually also have a chance to respond to it as well. So it's pretty cool. When you're finished adding all the information that you need, all the fields into your document, there's a couple of options that DocuSign offers. So you can either click send to send this document right now to your client. There's also actually the option to send later. So if, for example, I'm working really late at night, um, maybe it's two in the morning and I'm putting together a package, I might not want to send that to my client right away. I might want to schedule that for tomorrow morning. So I can just click the date. So maybe I want to do Tuesday. I can choose my time. It is in Pacific time. So if you're in Eastern time like me, a little bit of math there. Um, so let's say I want it to go out at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So I would just do 6 a.m. Pacific just that. time. And then I could go ahead and click send later. Um, I'm going to cancel this now and just send it right away just so we can take a look at what it looks what's like. It called? And just a reminder, if you could please mute yourself, that would be really awesome. Thank you. So my document's been sent out. We all probably heard that little ding, which means that I've received it in my email. I'm just going to jump over into my email here and I can see that I have uh, my document from my broker. So here it is, it's from DocuSign. It, it has information about me as the agent. So your broker, Carly Fotia, has sent you documents. I can then go ahead and just click here to review the document and get signing. So again, this is what your client will see. Super easy from a client perspective. The first thing they're going to have to do is just agree to use electronic signatures. It's just a little checkbox at the top of the page. Once they check that, they can continue. 
And now again, it's just showing them all the fields. So if they click start, it'll drop them to that first section. So again, it's choosing either yes or no. I've used radio buttons, so it only lets them choose one option, which is awesome. They can also see my comment here. So if I click here, I can see what my, my mortgage agent has written and I can actually write a reply back. So if I have a question or some confusion or something like that, I can go ahead and actually send a reply back to my broker and you will receive that reply by email as well. And I'm just gonna click next. It's going to, I've chosen here, um, perfect. And it's going to take me to the signature field. So. When I click the signature field, you have a couple of options. You can either select a style, so adopt a signature. You can also draw it in. So if your client prefers to actually write their signature here, or they could upload uh, a signature if they have something saved to their computer already. With the style, you can change style. So if I want, for example, this nice signature, I can select that and it'll, it'll adopt a signature and a initial for me. And when I'm ready, I just click adopt and sign. And then any subsequent signature fields or initial fields in the document, all you have to do is click and it'll input that signature that I've just chosen there. And there you go. And that's it. There you go. Finished for the client. They've signed all the documents. It was super simple. And when I click continue, that's it. I finished signing. So that's all from the from the client perspective. From uh, your perspective, when everyone signs, you will see the document come back into your documents section. Uh, I do have a couple, again, I sent it to two different clients, so it's not quite completed yet. Um, when everyone does sign the document, so when each of your clients completes the document, they will receive an email automatically, just letting them know that the document's been completed and they'll have the option to download that document and save it for their records as well. So that's pretty much it. There's DocuSign uh, and that's how our integration works with Velocity. So 